Hey witchies. Um, today I want to talk about gargoyles and how they inspire me to make this video and how I love them and how they're enchanting and yada yada yada. Um, I wanted to bring this video out because there's not many people that talk about gargoyles on YouTube. Uh, it's not. I don't know if they're afraid or they're not really connecting or they're just not making videos in general. So I thought I could be the one to be the first one to actually throw the rock and actually make success off of this for you guys to actually go out and get yourself one or six million. <sighs> Gargoyle is, uh, let's start with a little bit of the history. I'm not really fond with history. But let's start with a little history and then we can actually bounce from there to to up to present and uh, go from there. The word gargoyle comes from the word gurgle or guard in a way when it comes later down to matches. Gurgle was because they were actually used as gutters back then. They were used gutters um, to, to usher water off the rooftops of sacred buildings and good uh, and good buildings more and more so um, church is the really big one um, what they do is they spew water out of the mouth and they make this watery gurgling noise and uh, they basically usher water out of their mouths away from the building at least I think three feet away from the building um, the reason so is because when water sits on top of uh, certain stone like buildings it would actually leak through and break down Eventually, it would break the foundation and the, the pillars that actually hold it, it will break them down and the roof will collapse. So, they were used for that. Somewhere down the line, I'm not sure because I didn't really research much on it. Um, somewhere down the line, it became a spiritual creature where it wards off all evil and it repels such, you know, such things. For me, when I get a hold of a gargoyle, I feel protected, I feel sacred, I feel connected. I feel like this is a mythological creature that is an awesome creature and I love it dearly. Um, what I do before I go out and purchase a gargoyle is that I have intentions. Let it be power, protection, stability, um, meditation, one with self, frivolously, action. I mean, all these little attributes that you can just think of. I go out and I buy one. Um, if you don't find one immediately, don't be, don't be in a hurry. Treat it like as if it was an anthem or a wand or a cauldron or a chalice or whatever. It will come to you when it needs to. Um, once you actually find one, I take it home and I cleanse it. Uh, and this is my methods, and you can, guys can do whatever methods you want. I come home and take it and I burn frankincense and myrrh, um, incense stick or the actual gum resin on a charcoal desk and I just smother it with, with the smoke and I just cleanse it and visualize it, um, it being cleansed, repelling all those, um, excuse me, all those unwanted, um, energies. After that, while the smoke is still, while the incense is still going, I meditate because frankincense and myrrh, when they're together, it makes me... It makes me feel uh, connected. It makes me feel spiritual. So when I do that, I like to meditate it. I like to visualize it in my head and have full-on conversations with it. I like to converse energy, converse thought, converse love. And um, by doing so, our personalities will come out and reveal to one another. Um, sometimes the sex comes out. Sometimes it comes out saying, I'm a male or... I'm a dog, I'm a big old dude, or sometimes it comes out saying it's a female. Um, no, you cannot have, no, you cannot have your gargles have sex to breed more gargles. It's just nothing unheard of, and that's kind of weird to me. Um, so, once you have that communication and you establish that uh, relationship, um, next is actually giving it intention, giving it thought, giving it a reason why it's in your life. You can use it in any fashion way. And um, the reason I like to say anyway, because I relate gargoyles to air. And um, and because I'm an air creature myself. But there's so many people that I come across that they relate to all these elements. So when it comes down to it, I point it as it is all element. It is everything. Um, it just depends on what personality it is to, it, to you. Uh, what represents it to you. And... Uh, 
what intentions you put in behind it. I usually make my more airy creatures because I'm an airy person. Like I like air stuff. I like wind, I like air, I like movement. Um, I have one personally that I set that goes around my house right now, around my cars to repel thieves, or to repel any intention or harmful thoughts or ill wishes that, you, that anyone imprints on me uh, on anything. Um, I like to have it as concert guard up. Once you give it intention and thought, you can, um, and you should, offer it. Um, give it offerings. Um, give it a little bit of food. Um, what I do is I, I look at the creature and then I think of what it really needs, uh, what it really likes. If it looks more animalistic, like a monkey, I like to go forward with a monkey look. Uh, if it's, or monkey food, sorry. With the monkey food, like I like to put like bananas. I know that's not the only thing they eat, but I like to go with that. Um, if you really don't ultimately know, graham crackers and honey is a really good one. Um, if you're really cheap and inexpensive, just crackers itself. And a little dish of water. You gotta treat it like it's a, it's like a pet in a way. Um, but it just depends what offering to give to it. It takes it and accepts it no matter what because it knows your intention. You're offering it love and food and you're trying at your best at as much as you can offer it to them. And that's ultimately what it is. Um, so this next clip you're going to see is my gargoyle collection. It's not that big. It's not that small, but it's just enough for me to have them work all these little things around me and, and assist me in my, my daily practice life and my witchiness. So yeah, next clip, you'll see it. So here you guys, you see a little bit of my collection. I think there's, no, that's perfect with that. You see a little bit of my collection here of gargoyles. And um, they're really amazing. Most of them I got from the Dollar Tree. Um, some I got as gift, like this one was got as a gift. And like I said earlier in the video, you see that it, it has certain animalistic looks. Um, like this one, for instance. This is the monkey I was talking to you about. If you look closely, looks like a monkey. <laughs> um, I work with most of them. Um, this one back here I got from the Dollar Tree. And it's really heavy. It's stone-like. Um, he is really beautiful. This one's Ryan's. I'm just giving it to Ryan. He, uh, it's my boyfriend's side of the bed. He has this on his side of the bed. And ever since then, he hasn't had such heinous nightmares um he likes to take personal thoughts with him when he dreams and i keep telling him that's not really good all the time that's not really good all the time um so each one represents a little bit of love i wouldn't say my most expensive one would be him is because i went to an actual import store here at, at, at the mall and uh, i specifically picked him out because he has a human face if you look it's creepy that's creepy. And I have him as a human face. And I like to um, have him fully connect with him, but I would like to use him as my personal one that I actually take with me all around the world. Um, this one was actually a gift for my mom and my sister. It was my first one, and it's my oldest one. And I love him because he has like angelic wings in the back, and he has a little, little, doo -doo -doo, little, little tail bunny. Um, some of them are actually like this one. It was actually, this one's actually used for a bookshelf. Um, to hold my books. So maybe I relate that to knowledge. I don't know. Um, this one came from the Dollar Tree as well. Painted black. And um, I like to use her. And that's, I ended up finding out it was a girl. I don't like using her to, um, to create feminine energy around me. And I actually use her for my um, tarot card readings. Whenever I'm getting one with readings. And stuff, so I create a little bit of psychicness with her. This one has no wings. It came with no wings. And I use this one as uh, grounding when I'm using meditation or when I'm trying to get one with myself. I like to do that because it looks like a loner and whatnot. I haven't really discovered sex, but I do feel like it. Um, the one that goes around my house is this one. This is the one that actually go around my house and guard me and protects me from any harm and whatnot. This one, which I was intentionally 
was going to pick up because I was going one step ahead. Being a Gemini, I like to talk ahead of myself. This one is my Cuts of Play and Thinking one. This one helps me during spellcraft and um, creating rituals or creating tarot card spreads. That one's my contemplating one. So yeah, here is my little collection of gargoyles and um, hope that this video will inspire you to actually go out and pick yourself some gargoyles and 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 so so I hope you guys like this and I hope this helps you out a little bit and like I said this is this has been a long time coming to expose this and this is what I'm doing um, if you have any gargoyles or whatnot share until then comment and subscribe and thank you guys for watching possibly